My Northern Irish friend Claire started dating a guy from Denmark. His name is Morton, but we all call him Claire's Dane. <laughs> Claire's Dane. <laughs> It's like the best pun ever. And since it's Berlin, we all decided that we hate Morton because in Berlin, we all hate Claire Danes. Why, you ask? Well, so Berlin is known for its techno and for its, its clubs, right? It's techno music. It's techno music. Tell us more, Claire, please. They have this incredible club called Berghain. Oh no, she didn't. What is the matter with you, Claire Danes? Berghain is like Fight Club. The number one rule of Berghain is you don't talk about Berghain. And not on the Ellen DeGeneres show for a bunch of bored stay-at-home moms from Nebraska. You're so reductive. And um, so I kind of found, I got in with the guy who knows the owner, and so we kind of got to go in through the back, which was really amazing. Oh, lucky you, Claire Danes. Well, we're waiting outside in the cold for three or four hours, and maybe we won't even get let in. You just stroll on in the back. Enjoy your cake, Marie Antoinette. A club that you go and dance to techno music yeah. during the day. Yeah. Do you know what techno, let's, can you play some techno music just so you understand what she's going to dance to? I'm going to dance this? Yeah. That's definitely an accurate portrayal of the Berghain experience. Now dance for us, Claire. Twist that knife in deeper. Dance to that. Bring it home, girl. The last time I went, it was like fetish weekend. It was kind of intense, you know, everybody's in black or nothing at all. Oh, cool. Now it's time for the standard, uptight, heteronormative shaming of our sexuality. By all means, straight, cis, wealthy, privileged white woman, come into our gay, sexually liberated party spaces and gawk at us like you're in a zoo. People are dancing completely naked? <laughs> yes! I can't imagine that Ellen would stand for this. She's a champion for gay rights. That is disgusting. Thanks, Ellen. I didn't realize that the only gay people that you champion are clean-cut, family-friendly, multi-millionaire gay people who adopt puppies and marry Australians and save mountain gorillas in Rwanda. If you want to champion yourself as a crusader for gay rights, then you have to crusade for all gay people, including us sexually liberated Berlin hedonists who dance around naked sometimes and expect that that voyeur Claire Danes doesn't go around blathering about what she sees in our spaces. On behalf of Berlin, Fuck you, Claire Danes. Let me tell you something. When you were a child actor getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to play an angsty teenager on my so-called life, we actually were angsty teenagers having to deal with heartbreak and trauma and rejection. When you were in your 20s getting paid millions of dollars to make out with Leonardo DiCaprio, we were trying to put ourselves through school and get jobs and navigate how difficult this fucking world is. And now, somehow, we've managed to come together and find a city that embraces us, where we can be ourselves and find some happiness in the world. And we deserve sex-positive queer spaces where we can dance and take some substance and have a good time. And we don't need you, Claire Danes, making any commentary about our clubs or our community or our lifestyle, okay? Because you are not worthy of belonging to our city. Ugh, that's why we have to take all our aggression out on poor Morton, Claire's Dane. We tease him relentlessly. But don't feel bad for Morton. He's kind of racist. The Danish. 